Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Now recently I did make how to use the host panel and then the next update, the Bed Wars threw my whole video out the door by adding a ton of new options. Now this is not a bad thing, except for that I have to remake the video. It's very much a good thing and I'm going to teach you how to use and how all the settings work in the new host panel. So don't worry. Uh, that said, there still is a few commands that you need to type into the bar. Uh, also, I do make Bed Wars content pretty often, so if you like these kind of videos or just anything about Bed Wars, make sure to like and subscribe, and it'll appreciate it a ton. On that note, let's climb right in here to the host panel. You should find your host panel here in the top right, so once you find that up here in the top right where it says host panel, just go ahead and click that and that'll open up something like this. Once you get in here, you'll see all of these lovely settings, general players, items, generators. We're going to start in general and work our way down. Once we get through all these, we'll go to players. So starting off, you have server settings. Now, lock server. This is going to block players' joins. This is pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory with the extra definition here. If it's off, people can join. If I turn this on, nobody can join the server anymore. I can turn it back off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Do whatever you want there. Uh, if you don't want a ton of players, so like when I streamed Bed Wars way back when, I, we had like 100 plus people, and it lagged the game way too hard. So, you know, I don't want to deal with that. I'll set that to 50 people. Now only 50 people can join this server. Next up, we got Deathmatch Timer. Uh, this is basically how long the game has till it sets in the sequence of 60 seconds till the bed breaks. Once that happens, it is locked that way. So if you want to make it really short, like you want to make it happen right away, you could put like 10. That'll mean the beds will break in real quick. If you want it to last forever, you could put like 9999, and that means the beds won't break for like forever. Uh, team Overflow, this is going to stop people. So as you can see, the teams on here down here are two each. If I turn on Team Overflow, the teams won't be able to have more than two people in them. So if you don't want people having unstacked unfair teams, make sure to turn this on before you start inviting everybody. Uh, team switching will stop people from switching teams. So if you turn this off, people will not be able to switch teams. So as you can see, I can't switch teams. It's been disabled. Team switching is disabled. So you can see how that works, right? So you're no longer allowed to switch teams. If I turn this back on, you can switch teams at free will. Uh, next up, uh, you can hide all name tags. So name tags for like hide and seek. If you turn this on, nobody will have name tags. You turn it off, people will have name tags again. Item stack limits. So like balloons, example is balloon limit. So if you want to have unlimited balloons, you could turn this off and now no items have limits. So you can have as much balloons as you want. You can have as much spirits with spirit catcher as you want, stuff like that. PVP player versus player. This allows you to hit each other. If you want to just be building something and you don't want a bunch of chaos of people killing each other and messing around, just turn this off. People can no longer hurt or kill each other. That's good. Bed breaking. This makes it where you can't break the beds if you turn it off. So those are all the general settings. Now we're going to move into players. Players got a little bit of a revamp. You can set people's health. You could set it to any number I think you want here. Set to like 100, 0, whatever. The next option you have here is teams. You can set people's teams. So, for instance, if you locked team switching, so we turn team switching off, you'll see that I can't pick a new team. But what I can do is I can go into this host panel here and I can control people's teams. So if people are really being a bunch of pain in the butt and they're not letting you do what you need to do, you can simply turn off changing teams and then be like, oh, you're on pink team. Pink team has too many people. You need to get on green team. Actually, it disables that completely. They should fix that. I apologize, it's my bad. I guess this has to be on. So that's a little weird, makes no sense. But you can force people's team. So I can switch people's teams, but that would leave the assumption that they can move back. I think the developers may have messed that up. I think that needs fixed. Uh, anyways, we can go into items now. Well, yeah, players is health, teams, or you can kick them out. That's all that you can do there. You can search up names. Do, 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 do. Uh, but yeah, that's how that all you need to know there. Hopefully they'll fix the force team, like forcing someone's team should not be blocked by that. But anyways, we'll forget about that. They'll probably update it later. Uh, next up is items. You could simply disable items if you don't want people to buy them. You could turn off blast proof ceramic. Nobody can buy it. If you turn it back on, people can buy it again. Uh, next up, we have kits. Same thing with kits. If you don't want kits to work, you just turn them off. You can even disable them all. And this is going to make the kits not work. Now, a lot of these settings, even before this, uh, you need to do this before the game starts because if I leave this on and Ares goes and buys spears and then I turn it off afterwards, he's already going to have the spears. So try to make sure you turn off the kits you don't want involved sooner than later. And then last up, we got the generators. So if we go into the generators, you can now set specific team generators to different values. So I can go like, oh, I want Scion to have a better generator. I can go in here and be like, 0 0.001. Now Scion has a really good generator while everybody else's generators are default. So 
that's pretty cool. Emerald generators are for the middle. Smaller numbers are faster, obviously, in these settings. And then diamond generators are diamond generators. Uh, and that should be all that's in the host panel. Now, there is two commands I know, or three, I guess, that are up in here. Uh, and these are going to be uh, slash announce. So we type that in and we say hi. You'll see that it host announcement says hi. That, for whatever reason, still hasn't made it in the host panel. Maybe it'll get moved there soon. Uh, we also have slash lucky airdrop, which spawns in lucky airdrops. Should be able to see those. There you go. That one's also not in the host menu, so make sure you remember that one. And then the last one is going to be slash spawn and then item, whatever you want. So spawn rage blade one. And now I got a rage blade. That command, let me, I'm not going to go over everything you can spawn in with the spawn thing because it is like, it is just ridiculous what you can spawn in. You can spawn in just about anything. Um, the Rage Blade's an example. You can un and spawn in Emerald Helm. Uh, I think you got to do the underscore here. Helmet, you know, so you could just spawn in just about anything um, as long as you take the creativity. I'm pretty sure it's still allowed. You can also spawn in the items from the game. I think you could do that too. Slash spawn chest one. Yeah, see, so you can even spawn in broken items like the chests and stuff. The spawn command goes on for days. Trust me, like you could write 10,000 of them. So just mess around with it. Maybe there's other videos out there that will have a bunch of them listed. Uh, honestly, the spawn command could have a video of its own and I'm not covering all that here just know it exists and you can basically spawn in anything you want uh, so yeah that's all the things I'm covering in this video thank you all for watching and on that note I think it's time for us to wrap up this video by simply thanking our lovely YouTube members so thank you mom peace thank you redwood deadwood thank you cupid axolotl thank you tiny and thank you a9 gaming I appreciate y'all for being members of the channel hope y'all enjoy your custom games and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.